In this video, we're going to focus on finding the derivative of a logarithmic function. But let's start with natural log functions first. So what is the derivative of ln x? Now there's a formula that you need to know. The derivative of ln u is equal to u prime divided by u. So in this example, u is x and the derivative of x is 1. So therefore, the derivative of natural log of x, that's going to be 1 over x. Let's try another problem. What is the derivative of ln x squared? What do you think the answer is? In this example, u is x squared, and derivative of u, or u prime, that's going to be 2x. So we could simplify this. x squared is basically x times x. So we could cancel an x. And so the final answer is 2 over x. Now, what you could do also is you can move the 2 to the front before you find the derivative of the function. So ln x squared is the same as 2 ln x. And we know that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So this is going to be 2 times 1 over x which will give us the same answer of 2x. I meant to say 2 divided by x and not 2x. Go ahead and try this one. Find the derivative of ln x cubed. So let's rewrite the expression first. So this is 3 ln x. So that's going to be 3 times the derivative of ln x. And the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So this is just going to be 3 divided by x. Here's another example. Find the derivative of the natural log of x plus 5. So let's use the formula. u is x plus 5. u prime, the derivative of x plus 5 is 1. So the answer is going to be u prime over u, or 1 divided by x plus 5. Let's work on some more examples. Differentiate the natural log of x squared plus 4. So in this example, u is x squared plus 4. And the derivative of x squared plus 4 is 2x. So using the formula u prime divided by u, it's going to be 2x divided by x squared plus 4. So it's basically the derivative of the function on the inside divided by the original function. Go ahead and try this problem. Differentiate the natural log of 7x plus 5 minus x cubed. Now let's differentiate the inside function. The derivative of 7x is 7. The derivative of a constant is 0. And the derivative of negative x cubed is negative 3x squared divided by the original stuff on the inside, which is 7x plus 5 minus x cubed. So that's going to be the answer for this example. Now let's try some harder problems. Go ahead and find the derivative of the natural log of sine x. So in this example, u is equal to sine x, u prime, the derivative of sine, that's going to be cosine. So it's going to be u prime over u, so cosine divided by sine. And what trig function represents cosine divided by sine? Cosine over sine is cotangent. So the natural log of sine x is equivalent to cotangent x. That is the derivative of the natural log of sine x. Now go ahead and differentiate the natural log of the seventh root of x. Try that problem. Now the best thing to do for this example is to rewrite it. So let's rewrite the radical as a rational exponent. So this is going to be x raised to the 1 over 7. And then we could take the exponent and move it to the front. So this is 1 over 7 times the derivative of the natural log of x. So this is going to be 1 over 7 times 1 over x. 
So the final answer is 1 over 7x. Here's another problem that you can work on. Go ahead and find the derivative of the cube root of ln x. Once again, I suggest rewriting the expression into a form that's easier to deal with. So the cube root of ln x, that's basically ln x raised to the one third. Now this time, the one third applies not only to the x, but the entire ln x expression. So you can't just move it to the front. What we need to do is apply the chain rule. And let's say if you want to differentiate a composite function, f of g of x, you need to differentiate the outside part of the function keeping the inside the same, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. So that's the basic idea behind the chain rule. So to use that, let's use the power rule. So let's focus on the outside part of the function. Let's keep the natural log, the inside part, g of x, the same. So using the power rule, this will go to the front. So it's going to be 1 third, and then we need to subtract the exponent by 1 times the derivative of the inside, which is g prime. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Now, 1 third minus 1, that's the same as 1 over 3 minus 3 over 3, and that's negative 2 over 3. So we have 1 third ln x to the negative 2 thirds times 1 over x. Now, there's going to be a 1 in the numerator. We have a 3 and an x in the bottom, so I'm going to write that as 3x. Now, ln x will have a negative exponent if it's placed in the numerator. But if we place it in the denominator, it's going to have a positive exponent. And so we can rewrite the final answer as 1 over 3x times the cube root of ln x squared. And so that's it. Now, let's go over the derivative of regular logarithmic functions. So what is the derivative of log base 3 of x? Now, here's the formula. The derivative of log base a of u is equal to u prime divided by u times ln a. In the case of the natural log, which has the base e, this is going to be u prime over u ln e. But ln e is 1, so it simply becomes u prime over u. But if you have a base that's not e, then you need to have ln a. Other than that, everything else is the same. So in this example, u is equal to x. So the derivative of x is 1, and a is the base, that's 3. So the answer is going to be u prime divided by u, which is x, times ln a or ln 3. So it's 1 over x ln 3. Here's another example that you can work on. Differentiate log base 4 of x squared. Now we can move the 2 in the front if we want to. So this is going to be 2 times log base 4 of x. So it's going to be u prime, that's the derivative of x, divided by u, which is x, times ln a, and there's a 2 in front, so times 2. So the final answer is going to be 2x natural log of 4. Try this one log base 7 of 5 minus 2x. So u is 5 minus 2x, u prime, that's going to be negative 2, and a is 7. So the formula, it's u prime over u ln a. So u prime is negative 2, and then u is 5 minus 2x times the natural log of the base. So the natural log of 7. And that's it for that example. Now, what is the derivative of log base 2, 3x minus x to the fourth? So go ahead and try that. So u is going to be 3x minus x to the fourth power. u prime, the derivative of 3x is 3. And the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed. And a is the base, that's 2. So using the formula u prime divided by u 
times ln a or ln 2. So all you need to do is identify u, u prime, and a, and you'll get the answer. Let's work on one more example with logs. So go ahead and find the derivative of log base 5 of tangent x. So u is tangent, u prime, the derivative of tangent is secant squared, and a is 5. So using the formula u prime over u ln a, it's going to be secant squared divided by tangent x times the natural log of 5. And that's it. Now going back to natural logs, there's one more example I want to cover. What is the derivative of the natural log of ln x? So we have a natural log inside a natural log. How can we differentiate this function? So let's focus on the main one. Keep in mind the derivative of ln u is u prime over u. So notice that u in this example is ln x. So if u is ln x, what's u prime? Now you know that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So the answer is going to be u prime, which is 1 over x, times u, which is ln x. So let's multiply the top and bottom by x. 1 over x times x is 1. So it's 1 over x ln x. And that's the answer.